it's shooting out sparks about that long. So I want to investigate static electric forces in a weightless environment where you don't have to worry about gravitational forces. So how are we going to do this? We happen to have a number of educational projects on station involving Legos. And we have the official NASA Space Station Lego instruction booklet. And, and these are good educational projects in themselves. But the whole concept of Legos to me is not following the instructions. So I'm going to just give the instruction booklet a push and see what I can't make with Legos just, just on my own, not following the instructions. And remember, I want to do something with static electricity. And look what I made. I made this little Lego structure and I've got a big rubber band here. Okay. Then I use some Lego wheels as pulleys to go around the rubber band. And then if I turn the axle, which is made out of a bolt, I can make the rubber band go around and around on these pulleys. And then I've got a bit of screed wire up here, and then I've got some screed wire here. And I happen to know that this is the basis for a Van de Graaff generator. I happen to have some aluminum foil, and so I rolled it into this cylinder. And look at that. Okay, it's not pretty. It's not ideal, but I think it'll be good enough. Let's see if it works. So I could just fasten the drill driver onto the belt, and now I could do that. I, this is going to be the positive terminal down here, and the collector the cylindrical collector is going to be negative and let's see if I can get any charge built up. Oh wow. It's shooting out sparks about that long. So here I've, I've taken a plastic bag and taped two pieces of aluminum foil in it and then have this little piece of aluminum foil coming out with a nice little curly cue on the end and this makes a laden jar a means for storing static electricity so we can charge up our, our laden jar just like this and then just to see if it works you can see if you shock yourself it works. So the laid jar is being charged up. So this isn't little kid stuff anymore. We've taken Legos, which you typically think of as little kid stuff, turn it into something that's a real science experiment to the tune of about 30,000 volts, and it's static volts, real low current. And let's see what happens. If I rub this block of foam, on the foam, let's see what happens here. Oh, it sticks to the cylinder. In fact, you can get it to orbit around the cylinder like a satellite. Oh, isn't that cool? It reached escape velocity. Now, if I rub it on my skin, let's see if anything different happens. Oh, look at that, it's repelled. Wow, so wh what do you think is happening? I rub it on my skin and it's repelled. I rub it on another piece of foam and it's the same foam. In fact, I cut it out of the foam right there and it sticks. So something interesting is going on. Notice we have a Van de Graaff generator and a Leyden jar. All of these are of Dutch uh, name origin. 
we happen to have an ESA astronaut, Andre Kuipers, who's from the Netherlands on, on board. And I, I'm gonna need some help. Andre, see if you can charge this up. I, my, my hair isn't working good on this. <laughs> <I can try. laughs>